Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, first, the Lord Christ is the light, the way, and the truth. And uh, second, um, I found this really cool problem that mainly involves the law of cosines, and therefore I wanted to give you a fourth example in my law of cosines video series, a bonus example, yeah? Okay, this is what the question says. So you have a circular field of radius one, and a goat is tied on the circumference of that circular field on the one hand, and by uh, its neck on the other hand. All goats must die. Okay, and at all times the rope must be taut. That's to say that the goat does not have access to this white area or this white area. Now, um, given all this, the question is how long must be uh, the length of the rope so that the goat can graze over half the field? Well, the task reduces to figuring out how long the rope must be so that the goat can graze exactly half the field, yeah? Okay, and that answer is 1.17. Uh, and knowing the answer, right? Uh, by the way, you need a calculator to finish this problem, but yeah, knowing the answer, um, we see that uh, this drawing of mine is actually a little incorrect. And that's because uh, this point must be somewhere over here, and therefore this point must be somewhere over here. And the reason being uh, is that like, since the length from here to here is the length of a radius, one, and this is one, if this red line uh, acts, which represents the rope clearly, if it were from here to here, then we'd have one squared uh, plus one squared and uh, is equal to x squared, and so x would have to be root two. The length from here to here is root two. But root two is 1.41 approximately, and therefore that number, uh, which is less than that, would mean that uh, this point would have to be somewhere over here, and this point, therefore, has to be somewhere over here, as I said. Okay, but obviously, until you find the answer, you wouldn't know that, right? Um, additionally, like, even if this point was somewhere over here, and, uh, and this point was somewhere over here, we'd still have to have a sector like this, so that the sector enters, like, the right side of this um, blue diameter, because otherwise, uh, there's no way that if the sector is just on the left of um, this uh, blue diameter that we could have the goat grazing over half the field, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Basically what I'm saying is like uh, the area that the goat uh, would have to graze would have to be, uh, regardless of the drawing, uh, would have to go a little to the right of uh, this blue diameter, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, so how do we solve this problem? Well. I've labeled uh, this as I should, and remember from geometry, it's easy enough to prove that um, a right triangle trapped in a semicircle would, sorry, a triangle trapped in a semicircle would have to be a right triangle. So any triangle that's in a semicircle so that one of its sides is the diameter of that uh, semicircle or circle would have to be uh, a right triangle. You get it, you get it, you get it, you get it. Okay, okay. so, 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 where to from here? Well, let's solve the problem. Um, what we're gonna do is come up with two equations and two unknowns, specifically two equations and the two unknowns, x and alpha, and of course, if you have that, then you could solve for either unknown. Um, one of them we're going to come up with by figuring out uh, what the sector's area has to be, the sector's area, in terms of x and alpha. Remember um, that uh, a sector's area, if we call it s, um, is uh, in proportion to the angle here, right? Uh, 2 alpha in this case. So s over, uh, in proportion that the angle is over, uh, uh, 360, right? S over the entire area of this dotted red circle, right? Which is, which is a bigger circle than the black circle, but yeah. Uh, this dotted red circle, especially knowing the answer, right? Uh, this dotted red circle, uh, its area would have to be pi times um, x squared, right? So uh, S over pi x squared would have to equal, would have to equal uh, 2 alpha, 2 alpha over uh, 360, which is uh, 2 pi, right? Okay, okay, okay. So then from here, clearly I could get rid of this 2 and this 2, and then I can multiply by pi x squared to learn that s is equal to, and I'll write it here, s is equal to, uh, what is it going to be? The pi's are going to cancel, so alpha x squared. Yeah? Okay, alpha x squared. Got it. So uh, then, uh, we know now what uh, the sector's area would have to be because it has to be 
uh, at minimum half of the area of the black circle and since the black circle has a radius of one its area is pi and half of that is pi over two so this would have to equal pi over two in order for us to find that important number okay so we have um one equation in alpha and x that's this and we need to come up with a second equation this is where the law of cosines comes in now if you look at this right triangle uh this uh, c here would have to be uh since this length from here to here is two twice the radius right this this c here would have to be well let me keep it c would have to be equal to two sine alpha c would have to be equal to two sine alpha yeah that's easy enough to see right and now we could do uh, the law of cosines on this right triangle uh, where one side is two another side is x and the third side is uh, two sine alpha if we write the law of cosines for c then it'd say uh, c squared is equal to right now uh, C, the angle, is uh, in this case alpha, right? Because we're working with this right triangle. Otherwise, uh, side C is 2 sine alpha, and so C squared is 4 sine squared alpha equals uh, A can be this side, so that's uh, 2 squared or 4 uh, plus, because A is 2, plus X squared minus 2 times uh, A is. Uh, 2 as we said and then B is X and then cosine of cosine of what cosine of alpha right okay here's our second equation in uh, X and alpha so if we take this equation together with this equation we can solve for um, alpha or X um, and therefore I'm done okay all right now uh, speaking of goats I wanted to title this Killing Goats. Um, Hollywood is a goat machine, like it's a Baphomet worshiper. They worship Satan and they actively, among other things, promote homosexuality. Now, I'm a sinner and uh, so homosexuality is only a sin, just like any other sin, like stealing and so on, right? But as a Christian, I must say that like, or I have the courage to say that homosexuality is wrong. It's a sin, work on it. Um, all right. Uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and take care.